Hi, I'm Napat, and this is Introduction to Topological Insulator. First, let's talk about problems. Our current world is driven heavily by electricity, technology, and computer. The last consume huge amount of energy, as much as 10% in first world countries. These computers contain transistors, a key component of CPU, with the estimate global production in quintillions per year. That is thousand times more than the number of galaxies in the whole universe. This transistor, along with other electric appliances, is not perfect. They still have resistance, which is a cause of heat dissipation and energy loss. What if I tell you that topological insulator can help solve all this problem completely? Before we go any further, let's look at the outline from the term topological insulator. I know that some of us might have learned about board words. Some might have learned just one, and some did not know board words. So, I will talk about what is topology, what is insulator, what is topological insulator, and finally, its application. Let's start with topology. It is a mathematical study of the geometric properties of shapes that can be continually deformed into one another through bending, twisting, stretching and shrinking, but not tearing or attaching. With that being said, the classic example for topology is a coffee cup and a donut. Take a look at these three objects. For normal people, a donut is obviously closer to a pretzel than it is to a coffee cup, right? Well, in the eye of topologists, a donut is the same as a coffee cup since it possesses one hole, while a pretzel possesses three holes. In fact, we could say that all Dalgona candies in Squid Game series is the same in the eye of topologists, since all other shapes possess only one hole. So, let's move on to insulator. Almost everyone knows what an insulator is, right? An insulator is basically a material that is not a conductor. In fact, when we talk about one term, the other is almost always brought up. An insulator is a material that does not allow electric current to flow freely or virtually impossible to flow, while a conductor allows current to flow through with relative ease. But why is that? Let's have a closer look. First, we need to know a free electron model. We know that for electron, its energy correlates to the square of its momentum. So we have parabola graph of energy and momentum. We also know that electron momentum correlates to its wavelength, and this is where free electron model is not right. Since all typical material that we are talking about is a group of atoms with equal spacing, at certain wavelength, as shown by length yellow lines, the wavelength will match up with that spacing. The mesh wavelength can be classified into two patterns, destructive, in which electron cross with the atom, and constructive, in which atoms is between electrons. Since destructive pattern is not favorable, the energy will suddenly go up and it will divide the energy into a band and the gap between constructive and destructive interference is a forbidden gap with no electron. Since electron will be filled from the lowest band and gradually increase in energy, we get the diagram of band gap theory with valence band of field electron and conduction band which electron does not occupy. In metal, these two bands overlap each other, so electron can relocate between these bands. In insulator, however, two bands is separated by previously mentioned band gap, so electron cannot relocate due to the band gap. So we have come to topological insulator. It is electronic materials that have a bulk band gap, like an ordinary insulator, but have protected conducting states on the edge or surface. Let's look at the band diagram. We can see that in normal insulator, conduction band and valence band is separated. However, in topological insulator, these two bands are connected by surface state, so electron can relocate. How is that possible? We're going to use Hall effect to describe it. Imagine electron in a material in a plane. If we apply magnetic field perpendicular to the plane by Lorentz rule, electron will orbit in their own path, right? However, at the edge of the material, 
Clinton cannot cause the loop, so it skips forward. Due to the rule, electron can only move in one direction, which is forward, essentially making the edge conductive while the inside is insulated. But what if we have material with this property without applying magnetic field? And that is topological insulator. It uses spin orbit coupling property of electron to create similar phenomena as previous diagram with the name of quantum spin hole effect in absence of magnetic field. This field of study is related to 2016 Nobel Prize in Physics for topological phase of matter. Due to spin orbit coupling, topological insulator achieves time symmetry property, meaning that electron will have separate channel for spin up and spin down. These channels prevent them from dissipate and force them to go forward. Thus, the conduction is dissipationless or absolutely zero resistance. So, what is so topological about this topological insulator, you may ask? Well, this property is protected by topological invariance, meaning that as long as it holds same topological properties, such as same number of holes, the conductivity will always be the same, which is zero resistance. Thus, they are immune to rust, impurities, crystal defects, surface pollution, and distortion. So, what could be the application of this topological insulator? First, it's quantum computer. Quantum bit, the fundamental unit of information, will replace the modern computer bit and will increase computer processing power exponentially. However, qubit is prone to disturbance or environment interaction. Topologically, conductor offer a solution for protection against any perturbation. Next is transistor. A study by MIT successfully created 2D material that act at both topological insulator and superconductor, which can be used in computer, smartphone, and other electronics. Last is spintronics, a field of detection and control of electron spin. Topological insulator is used in spintronics to develop high power lasers, electronic memory devices, and optoelectronic devices. But since topological insulator is still a novel concept, I would say that its application in the future is endless due to two amazing properties which is absolutely zero resistance and the protection by topological invariant which is immunity to rust, distortion, pollution or other damage. And this is my reference. I hope you enjoy.